Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjaga video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be ranking all of the current elemental powers belonging to not only our favorite ninja, but also every other elemental master that currently has an elemental power. And of course, we have our tier list right here, our A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, and F tier for those especially bad elements. And like I said, we do have all of the elemental powers right here ready to be ranked. Just keep in mind, this is not a ranking of the elemental masters themselves as characters, we are specifically talking about the powers here. So we're not talking about Kai, for example, we are talking about the elemental power of fire. And once again, this is just my own opinion, all of that good stuff. Don't get too mad at me for my opinions, but let's start off with golden power, which is honestly a pretty sweet elemental essence, not really a power, but still an elemental essence. I think this power deserves the A tier. Super strong, very reliable. Unfortunately, we didn't really see a whole lot of it in the show before Lloyd lost it, but you know what? Golden power is golden power. Energy is Lloyd's current elemental power, and it's kind of like golden power, but a lesser version of it to an extent, so I will say B tier for energy. Still decent, but not as strong as golden power, not as strong as it could be. So energy, B tier for me. Uh, creation, Master Wu's elemental essence. Technically, I'll give that B tier as well, just because it's not as good as some of the other powers on this list. Nothing against creation per se, B tier is still B tier, but creation, we don't really know a whole lot about it, and Master Wu hardly uses it. Destruction, though, that is a power that I can get behind. A tier for Garmadon's power of destruction. He uses it all of the time, especially in Ninjago Crystallized, to activate his Oni form, so we love to see that. And Garmadon himself uses this power very frequently, very effectively. I will give destruction the A tier. Next up, we have the Overlord's power of darkness, which is indeed an elemental essence, much like these other ones up here. Not really a power per se, but more like an elemental essence. I'll give that C tier. Uh, what else can darkness really do aside from whatever is going on there. Uh, darkness, it seems like a cool power, but like I said, we hardly know anything about it. Maybe when the Overlord returns again in 10 years from now, maybe we can actually see darkness to its fullest potential, but until then, C tier for me. Fire, I'm going B tier for fire. I really like fire. Fire is an awesome element to have. Not as cool as some of these other powers in my opinion, but fire, you can't really go wrong with fire. I think fire is a very standard element in a lot of different shows and movies, and Kai uses fire very effectively. Effectively, Earth. I will give the A tier to Earth just because of all of its crazy abilities. The Earth Punch, uh, Spinjitzu Burst, we've only seen that used for Earth as well. It's not an Earth specific power, but Cole is the only one that has used Spinjitzu Burst, so I'll give Earth the A tier. I like the Earth element quite a bit, and I'm totally biased because Cole is my favorite ninja. Zane, with his power of ice, I will give ice the A tier. I love the elemental power of ice. Such a cool power, pun totally intended. Uh, you can freeze things, shoot ice out of your hands. That's an awesome power set, in my opinion. Cannot go wrong with ice. Lightning, I agree, is also a pretty cool power. A tier for lightning. I love lightning quite a bit. Uh, lightning is pretty self-explanatory. I feel like all of these primary elements are pretty self-explanatory, but lightning is also a really awesome power. Definitely one of my favorites, if not my absolute favorite. Uh, maybe that tied with ice, I'd say, are my favorite powers overall. Uh, water is also a very interesting power. A tier for that as well. Love me the elemental power of water. Water is also a very common element that we've seen in a lot of different things, but uh, I feel like Ninjago displays the element rather Rather effectively, and Nia had a very interesting arc surrounding water as well, so A tier for water in my opinion. Metal is also a very fun power, but I'm gonna say C tier for metal. You can encode your entire body in metal, that's pretty sweet, but aside from that, what can metal really do? I suppose it is very, uh, it's very good for defensive and maybe even some offensive strategies out there, but metal, I don't know, I, I have a hard time connecting with that power, not really sure how to feel about metal, so I'll say C tier for right now. Mind, that's a pretty interesting looking power. I'll say B tier for mind. Uh, reading people's minds, telekinesis, you know, whatever else Nero does. Uh, I like the power of mind. It's a very interesting power to think about. Also, pun totally intended, but uh, yeah, mind, I like mind. I think mind is a pretty sweet power. Can't go wrong with mind. B tier for me. Nature, uh, mm, I'm gonna say... I'll say D tier for nature, and nothing against the power of nature, I think that power is amazing, but it's just kind of not as cool as some of these other ones out there. I mean, yeah, you can create vines and control nature, control plants or whatever, but you're not zapping people, you're not freezing people. 
you're doing whatever this is. So I'll say D tier for nature, but again, I don't hate, I don't hate nature. I don't hate any of these powers, but nature, probably one of my least favorite ones. Time! A tier. Uh, time, you can do a whole lot of crazy stuff, and with the power of time, we've seen it do some crazy things in Ninjago. Very unpredictable, very intimidating power as well. So A tier, in my opinion. Uh, Amber. Also A tier. The ability to copy other people's powers. That's a good ability. If Skylar were in the show more often, I'm sure we would see that power excel. But as of right now, we've seen Skylar's power certainly more than some of these other ones. So I'll say Amber. A tier, love the ability to copy other powers, that's an awesome power set, and we've seen it grow and evolve over the years, always fun to see Skylar and her power of Amber. Wind, I will say for Wind, I'll say B tier, I think Wind is a B tier elemental power, uh, still pretty powerful, but the Wind, only so much you can do with that, you know, the Wind is not as powerful in my opinion as something like Ice or even Lightning, again, this is like the golden standard right here, so I'll say B tier for the Wind elemental power, again, though, nothing against any of these powers i don't hate any of them i don't think uh form very cool power but i'll say c tier just because we haven't seen it used all that much in the show and also form it's not really an offensive power you know i'm sure you could use it to your advantage if you're a trickster but uh in terms of like offensive capabilities i'm sure this is more of a defensive power at the end of the day so i will say c tier for form speed Griffin Turner's power of speed. Uh, B tier, it's not as exciting as a power as, say, water, lightning, or even amber, but still, you can run super fast. <laughs> That's awesome to see, I guess. And uh, there's not really a whole lot to go against speed. You know, you can run fast. What's not to love about that? Uh, light. Um... Very interesting power, but I'll say C tier maybe for light. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm also not a huge fan of the way that the power works. I mean, you can turn invisible, but again, that's more of a defensive power in my opinion, and I'm not a huge fan of the defensive powers. I'd say the more flashy offensive powers are definitely a lot cooler in my opinion. Uh, Shadow! C tier as well. I think Shadow can do some pretty crazy stuff, especially for offensive and defensive options, but uh, Shadow itself, there are other more stronger, better looking elemental powers out there as opposed to Shadow, but again, nothing against Shadow. Smoke, I'll say B tier for Smoke. We saw Ash go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kai, and that has to mean something, and I think those powers are pretty similar. They kind of go hand-in-hand -hand with each other, so Smoke isn't too bad in my opinion. I'd say it's right on par with, uh, with Fire. In my, in my humble opinion. Uh, Gravis, with the power of gravity. Mm. <laughs> I mean, probably D tier. You can float. That's cool. What else can you do? Oh, just, just floating? Alright, D tier. Sound! What can sound even do? Uh, I'll say D tier for sound as well. I just don't think, I mean, it's, it's good for this guy specifically, but I'm, I'm struggling to see how sound can be useful. I mean, sure, you can paralyze people with sound. Um, you know, it's a pretty good offensive power, I guess, but it's just not as cool as some of these other ones. So I'll say D tier for sound as well. And that just leaves the power of poison, which I will give a C, yeah, yeah, I'll give C tier the power of poison. Um... Yeah, Poison is just okay. I like its offensive capabilities a lot, but uh, at the end of the day, it's just Poison. I'm not really sure what else you can say about Poison. It's pretty self-explanatory, I'd say. And with that being said, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my Elemental Power tier list right here. I'm pretty happy with all of these. I'd say out of the A tier, I like Ice and Lightning. And yeah, I'd say Water. I like these three the most, I think, out of any power set out there. Uh, all of these other ones, though, in A tier are also pretty cool. B tier is also not too bad. C tier is kind of middle of the road for me. D tier, you know, kind of forgettable powers. And F tier, we don't have any in F tier because to an extent, I like all of the powers that have existed across all of Ninjago. I think they are all exciting in their own ways. Some definitely more so than others. But of course, with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my personal ranking. Once again, I will be leaving a link to this tier list down below in the description feel free to check it out if you want to do this tier list for yourself and feel free to let me know down below in the comments what you think of my ranking just remember this is just my opinion don't get too mad at me thank you so much for watching everybody if you guys enjoyed today's video feel free to like and subscribe do all that fun stuff and i'll talk to you guys again really soon peace